Okay, so here it is. I am making a brand new video for a brand new world that I hope to play on, you know, a lot uh, for the foreseeable future. So I'm starting a new Let's Play just now. Um, I'm loading up the world before your eyes. I've never seen it before. I didn't do any special seed. Um, it's going to be a survival world, which I like the best. Um, I've been away for a while. haven't played... Uh, I haven't recorded in a while. I've played plenty, but um, yeah, I actually just wanted to start new and do something different. Uh, I've been doing a lot of different things. I've been playing like sp trying to do speed runs. I've been playing hardcore. I even tried the half-hearted hardcore thingy, which is fun. Um, I've been playing around with different resource packs, you know, different texture packs, and just kind of been playing with this texture pack in particular lately which is really fun but uh yeah i wanted to start a new world and record some stuff i thought that might be cool and fun and super sweet I'm just kind of looking around seeing if there's a village nearby or anything really really cool i might go over there and check out that savannah in a minute but i saw these caves so, yeah, anyways, I wanted to start a brand new world and do some new things and do things a little bit differently than I normally do them. I want to maybe automate things a little bit more than I normally do early on and try to just, like, try to have some fun. Maybe just do things differently enough where I keep myself on my toes and keep it fresh and uh, maybe do some larger builds than I normally would do. Like I said, automate builds differently than I normally would. And I even thought about, since I like to do a lot of mining, I enjoy mining, um, but I tend to do a lot of mining in the early days. I might cut that down quite a bit. That's annoying. Um, and just get maybe some diamonds from villagers, or get like diamond armor and diamond tools from villagers. Because uh, I'd like to do some villager breeding like quickly in this world because that's like the best way to start a world these days is just to get some breeding going on get you know mending villager and all sorts of stuff like that but not even just mending like if you can get a fortune villager why, do, why am i doing that that's not what i want um yeah there's just lots of cool stuff i can do that i don't normally do so i have optifine and i have a resource pack on and it's a cool one but i could always change it if it's if you, you know, if I get some kind of feedback saying eh, it's not as good as regular, or I do have lots of other resource packs to, to try out as well. I'm not seeing anything particular that's drawing me in any certain direction. Oh, there is a desert that way. I just saw it. I know I did. Why is it like I can see it when I, my periphery? Isn't that weird? I'd like to find a nice plot to settle down in before the end of this episode. And I actually was thinking, too, that my episodes sometimes were a little bit too long. And I want to fix that. I want to have shorter than normal episodes of anything, I think. Because I watch Minecraft YouTube, and sometimes I think that their videos are too long. Like, 20-minute videos are pretty standard, but I'm, like, sometimes playing them on, like, 2x speed just because I want to see the content, but I'm not, like, that interested in going along for the ride for 20 minutes. Um, so maybe, like, 10-minute videos, 5-minute videos sometimes, depending on what we're doing. Like, if we can accomplish something really cool in just a nice 5-minute clip, why not, right? It doesn't, you don't need to have 20-minute episodes, like an episode of TV. You're not here to watch TV. You're here to see some Minecraft, some quick, fun, interesting stuff. Little this, little that. That's what I come to Minecraft for. Oh, see, now, now my hunger's way too low. Why did I do this to myself? I hate when I get, like, slowness from hunger. I don't want that. Ooh, kill the chicken. Let's just cook them because we can. Just to uh, help myself out a bit. I like that when your hunger's really low, you walk slower, but nothing else is slower, so it's like, it doesn't even matter. And that's just specifically trying to run. <laughs> Actually, you don't even walk slower, do you? You just can't sprint, which is basically the same thing. 
do 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 Maybe make another furnace while I'm at it. Not that I want to smell a bunch of stuff right now, but I will soon. That's the desert. Oh, I see some sheeps. Is this the way I wanted to be heading? Or is that a different desert? Am I crazy? No, that's the same desert. Okay, good. Good. I like this texture pack. I like it a lot. I think it's cool. Let me know what you think. Let me know. Ooh, there we go. You're dead. This is a pretty nice open area, right? I like a good plain farm to build in. Might be like too close to spawn though. Dead. Who said the first night has to be scary? <laughs> Speaking of, <laughs> this creeper said it has to be scary. I got a stone axe, bro. You don't want to mess with a man with a stone axe. Oop, I missed him. I missed him. My first monster fought and I missed him. I whiffed. That's not a good sign. <laughs> that's not a good sign at all. But that's okay. Sometimes. Oh. So whenever it's night, villagers will run to the bed to sleep. So if you go around the village and take up all the beds and you like leave one, I think they should basically all know where that bed is. They probably have a pretty good range, it seems. Um, and so they will actually run to the only bed remaining and then you can kind of like lock them in a certain house or whatever and basically save the entire village pretty easily that way um, from monsters. That way, if I do build my house nearby, Maybe I'll do that just to demonstrate what I'm talking about. Take up all the beds and then they'll congregate around the only remaining bed, basically. Is that a thing? And then I can just dig a hole and throw them in it. There's no well here. Oh, there is a well here. But there's no... Oh, oh weird. Okay, cool. If I do this and then there's a bed here. What's up here? Anything? Is there chests up here? I forget. I don't think so. Indeed there is. Nothing really worthwhile, I suppose. Okay. Is there any water for me to jump into? Come on. Shoot. I got my bucket. I could have tried something fun, but I didn't. I didn't. Okay, so there's one bed left, right? This is a very small village. I could just flatten this village pretty easily, like in the near future, for fun. Uh, so there's one bed over here. He's over by it. Now, if I ring the bell, actually, I, I mean, honestly, this is kind of dumb, but this is such a crammed room that I'd rather have the only bed be in, like, oh, that's equally crammed, what am I thinking? This is maybe the biggest house? Yeah, if I do it like that, that might work better. If I ring the bell, where's it? Was where? Okay. I think if I ring the bell, they'll actually go to the bed. Because they panic? Yeah, so they're all going to the same spot. This is really cool, right? It's just like mechanics you don't normally think about. Boom. They're safe, right? Now they're like all safe. Ooh, that doesn't look particularly safe. If I throw a torch up in here, just to make sure. Don't, hey, don't look at me like that. I'm doing this for your own benefit. Oh, there is a torch right there. So they should be perfectly safe. <laughs> I can just check up on them inside their little half slab window. Nothing can get through there. I just say, I've spent so many times like individually, like, like I'd go like this and like dig a hole underneath individual villagers and then have a bunch of villagers inside holes throughout the village. And literally, I just I just compacted the entire village into this one completely safe building. Unless, of course, it has, like, some stupid skylight or something. Let me make sure, because I'm paranoid. Boom. Like, this is good. That's so, so much easier. Wow. So now I can probably come back to this village when I'm a little bit more prepared and, like, either just do, like, a simple, super simple villager breeder or just do, like, a, like a dope infinite villager breeder. Um, yeah, look how, this is a good spawn, this is a good seed for me, because I like big flat open areas, and it's nice to just have it nice and big and flat to begin with, so you don't need to spend 
a lot of time clearing it out because in the early days in your world you don't have like efficiency for diamond shovel right I mean, unless you're super lucky and you like find one or something but there's plenty of pigs nearby for early game food there's cows nearby as soon as i want to make a cow farm which i have the wheat for i have 24 hay bales that's enough for like quite a while before i even need to think about farming and i think this is it this is like my plot of land for sure and i'm gonna just leave it as a teaser for now uh, i don't have any plans as exactly what i'm gonna build but i have an idea mm -hmm. a vague design type you'll see so i think this is gonna have to be it for episode one i've got a di uh, iron chest plate <laughs> diamond chest plate um like you know we're all we're on our way we're not we're not totally kitted out. Um, this is just the beginning. Super quick video. Like I said, I wanted to maybe do quicker videos because they got a little long. I got kind of crazy for for a while there. So I got plans, but this is this is a good cutoff point. I'm happy with this. So if you're happy with this, I'm happy. We've got a nice village nearby. We got them all safe. I'm gonna do things with them as soon as possible. We're good to go. I'm gonna go mining. No, I'll do, I'll, I'll do mining between episodes, between like two and three or something like that. You'll see. So anyways, thanks for watching. Nice quick video for you. Episode two coming straight away.